Hi there. We, uh, today we are presenting on CoSketch.com. My name is Ryan Malone. And I'm Amanda Sikandovich. Okay, so basically what CoSketch is is a collaborative website that allows anybody to create an image that can be easily saved and shared for educational as well as recreational purposes. It also gives the option to work with different people at the same time, the same drawing in real time. So basically what it is, it's a whiteboard, whiteboard that you can interact with with other people. Okay, this is a uh, picture of CoSketch.com. It's um, very easy to use. All you have to do, you don't have to sign up, you don't have to create an account. You just have to basically just click on this button right here and then it'll take you automatically to it. System requirements. Sadly, you need internet access. You don't have a choice, just like with anything like this. Uh, there's no installation or plugins necessary, no accounts that you need. Um, an email address is required for collaboration purposes. And it's absolutely free. So that's another very good pro about it. Alrighty, so we are about to go to ghostedge.com and we will give you a demonstration about what it actually is. So like we talked about before, it's got to click on the create new sketch. Alright, so this is basically what it is. And you can draw like little circles if you want to, or basically anything you can um, do circles. There's also grids that you can do on here for your math purposes. You just come down here to browse library, and it has a whole bunch of different options of stuff you can click on things that you can come on under here and decide to like if you want to put it on the screen or not. So you can put like this on here, this graph. Just like this. Yeah, it comes up. You can like enlarge then, you can draw lines on it, you can come up here and put lines on it. So it's really good for like math classes, pretty much any class you want. And then also you can go down. The one of the cooler features I thought about this was that you can upload Google Maps onto here. And in here. It would come up onto here. Of course you would have to like delete this stuff. Which is like it's gonna delete. But anyway, on this map too you can also go on and draw stuff on the map. Stuff like that. Draw circles and stuff on it. And also, if you go up here and copy and paste this URL and you email it to someone, you can work with them in real time. It's kind of like Google Docs, how you can all like see each other typing at the same time, only you can like draw with each other. So I thought that that was another thing that was really cool. Okay, the pros for this is it allows for a lot of creativity because there's so much you can do with it. it can pretty much be for any subject you want, and there's no cost. Another thing that we thought of was that it can be used for any age, too. It's not restricted to just, like, elementary ed or high school. It can be for anything. Um, there's unlimited possibilities, personalized learning, because students can create sketches as to what they're interested in, what's personal to them. Um, it works on every browser. You don't need any installation, no account, no anything. And you can also collaborate with others. Um, Cons, just everyday technology problems. You need internet, so if it's down, you can't use it. And it's also not compatible with tablets. That was part of Ryan's experience. He couldn't get it on his iPad. Um, these are examples we thought of for how to use it currently. For students, like in math, you can graph. You can make graphs and make them really precise. Um, students who are learning about different areas in geography can go and they can circle regions and highlight regions on there. And in kindergarten, they can use scoring shapes and colors because they can draw yellow circles and fill it in or blue triangles. Um, this is also another different subject area. It's math for graphs, geography, we said. Um, science, there was a section under the library that had science things for bounds and equations that you can actually put on there. So you can like depict scenarios in chemistry and physics 
And also English, students can write their own stories and then draw pictures of their story, like a comic or an illustration. Um, these are just helpful links. The first one is just other sites that are like CoSketch.com. So if you, there's a whole bunch of other sites that you can use in the classroom that's not, that's different than CoSketch. Some of them you have to pay for though. And then the second link. <laughs> the second link is just more about CoSketch and what you can do with it. Which this was not what it was the first time. It was. <laughs> it was. It was a review okay. about CoSketch. It was just a review. And then that's it. Thanks.